next on Street Smarts. Who knows this advertising giant's catchphrase? What was the only line of dialogue that the Jolly Green Giant has ever been known to say? Mmm, good. Oh, oh, oh. That's Santa Claus. Who knows their Big Apple boys in blue? Who's commonly known as New York's finest? Oh, Donald Trump. What would you do? If you had all that money, what would you buy? I'd buy your show and I'd be you. What would I be doing? I'd probably sweep in the back or something. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. from the Atlantic to the Pacific, seeking everyday people like you to test with their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. Now, it's going to be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's got a leak in their think tank. And speaking of our players, let's meet him. We got Sam right here. That's my dad's name. Good name. And Ayelet's right there. Ayelet's. And as you know, guys, it's all or nothing on street smarts. That means the winner gets the loot and the loser gets the boot. Now, let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, Shannon shared with me her favorite beach attire. Is there anyone famous that people tell you you remind them of? Heather Locklear? I think Kirsten Dunst. Okay, I've been told that too. Really? I think so. You know, like, you know, Bring It On, the cheerleader movie? Right on. Oh. <laughs> What's your ideal Friday night? If it's the summertime, going to the beach at night. What do you guys do on the beach at night? Run around naked. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> On the naked part. <laughs> <laughs> then Mike gave us the 411 on being a telephone operator. So, Mike, what do you do for a living? I'm an uh, operator. Well, like an operator when I call the, the operator, it's you? Right. Well, right. you know, do you, when people swear at you, are you told to hang up automatically? No. Because I swore at an operator once and he hung up on me. You did? You're probably talking to me. What's your dream job? <laughs> My dream job is right now to be an actor. To be an actor? To be an actor. What kind of actor? Serious, romantic, comedy stuff, or what? Romantic, comedy, just about everything. Yeah. <laughs> no work for anything. And Danny revealed to me his true, his true career calling. So, Danny, you've seen the show before Street Smarts. Here you are now on the show. Oh, uh, yeah. Pretty cool? This is awesome. You're ready to go? I'm ready to rock. So, Danny, where are you from? What do you do? I'm from L.A., and I do, I sit on my couch. You sit on your couch? I watch your show. Uh, okay. If you could trade places with anyone in the world, who would it be? You. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. That's what you said. Take them on. Who's your favorite um, game show host? Wink Martindale. <laughs> who the hell? <laughs> to call, who knew it? Well, I asked the same question to all three of our street peeps, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess is going to get you 100 bucks. Okay, guys? Put on your thinking caps. Here we go. Here's the first question I asked to Shannon, Mike, and Danny, who's going to take my job. What was the only line of dialogue that the Jolly Green Giant has ever been known to say? So flip up your paddles, guys. Tell me who knew it. What do you think? Do you think it was Shannon, Mike, or Danny to tell me what the Jolly Green Giant has been known to say? All right, we got Sam and I yell it. I yell it. That's how you remember her name. I yell it. See? That's how I know. It was Mike. Okay. All right, you guys both locked in. You both going with Mike. Now, before we check in with Mike, see if we can get you guys 100 bucks each, let's see what Shannon had to say just for fun. Shannon, what was the only line of dialogue that the Jolly Green Giant has ever been known to say? Jolly Green Giant. Isn't he the guy from on the um, pee can? Mmm, good. Ho, ho, ho. That's Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, you're gross. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You do that well. Thank you. I used to be a jingle singer. Oh. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, listen. Ayala, you think Mike's going to know this? Yeah, why do you think Mike knows it? He had to fill it out on his sheet when he applied for the operator job. It was one of the questions. Oh, oh okay. I didn't realize you saw his resume. All right, yep. cool. Let's find out. Mike, what was the only line of dialogue that the Jolly Green Giant has ever been known to say? Oh, oh, oh! Way to go, you both had Mike. You each uh, got $100. Good start to the game. Way to go, guys. OK, here's the next question I asked all three. I asked all of them, where is your pituitary gland? So who do you guys think knew it? Which one of these guys knew it? Shannon, Mike, or Danny can tell me that one. Sam didn't take too long. And Ayala, it looks like uh, you guys both locked in. You're agreeing that Shannon's probably the one who knows it. Sam, you think she knows? She is very pituitary. She's very pituitary. <laughs> all right, let's see if she can get another 100 bucks for each of you. Where is your pituitary gland? In your neck. And what's it do? Helps you swallow. <laughs> you guys both had Shannon. I'm sorry, she did not get that right. That is not a correct answer. Do you guys know? Do you know where it is, Sam? No idea. I yell it? Sorry. It's uh, in your brain. 
And everyone's like, uh, it's in your brain. Okay, all right. Okay, here's the last question around, guys. I, uh, I asked all three, according to the Bible, what should you do to someone who trespasses? So who knew it? What do you think, guys? You think it was Shannon, Mike, or Danny? You each got 100 bucks. Let's see if we can end the note on a, end the round on a high note. You're both locked in again. You guys are, you guys are thinking alike here. You both think Mike knows it, right, Sam? You think he knows it? Oh, he reads the Bible. And Okay, and I yell at you agree? Because he's reading the Bible while he's doing his opera job. It's pretty boring, pretty so boring. He's, he's reading. He's you know a lot about read. Mike. I didn't realize yeah, this. Okay, back. you can read people pretty well. All right, let's see if we can get you 100 bucks each, guys. According to the Bible, what should you do to someone who trespasses? Trespasser. Uh, dang. Trespass. Forgive them. Forgive them. There you go. Forgive those who trespass. Forgive others as you want forgiven, and uh, that's, yeah. You both had Mike. That is the correct answer. Nice job, guys. You're both up to short and all. Now, just for fun, before we go to break, I want to see what Danny had to say on this one. According to the Bible, uh -huh. what should you do to someone who trespasses? Hit him over the head with it. The Bible. Hit him over the head with the Bible. They won't come back anymore. Oh. Tell you that. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's recap the score. Sam, you got 200 bucks. You had a nice first round. I yell it. Also got 200 bucks. Nice job, guys. From who knew it to who knew it when we return. So come on back. What's in a PB&J sandwich? Peppers. Butter. What's that, Jay? Juice. What's your favorite kind of sandwich to eat? Tuna sandwiches. What about peanut butter and jelly? You like that? Oh, was that a PB and J? Oh, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our players. Now, Sam, I hear you don't always fall asleep in bed, right? What happened one time? Well, it had been a long week. I went over to a friend's for the pay per view fight, went to the bathroom after the undercard. Yeah. The tile floor looked kind of exciting, and so I just took a little nap. Next thing I knew, ch -ch -ch. Fight's over, we gotta go. Missed the fight. Oh, you fell asleep on the floor, Brad. Well, Sam, stay awake here. You got some money here. We're gonna try to win you some more. Now, I yell it. I hear uh, you write a song you wanna teach us. You wrote a song you wanna yeah. teach us. Yeah. Well, well, I teach people in sign language. You are my treat. It goes like this You bring out the best in me. When I'm with you, I'm the best that I can be. You are my tree. Oh, you man. are my tree. Oh, that's nice. Frank, you are my tree. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Our next round. Who blew it? This time I asked the same question, only two of our asphalt nine signs. One answered right, one answered wrong. Now each time Sam or I yell it correctly identifies who tanked the question, you get the 200 bucks. Very nice, huh? And you can grab another 200 bucks by using that dunce cap right in front of you guys, and here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will perplex your opponent, pop the buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. But remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so timing is key. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's start off round two. This is the question I asked to Shannon and to Danny. What do we call that big star at the center of our solar system? <laughs> so flip up your paddles, guys. Who blew it? What do you think? Who blew it? You think it was Shannon or Danny? The All man. Right. You guys are both locked in again. You guys are like in cahoots here mentally. You guys are picking the same people. Sam, you think Danny blew it? He knows absolutely nothing. And Ayala, you agree? He's a man. Oh, oh. no oh. offense to all the man. Oh. He's got, oh. All right, let's check it out. Come on. What do we call the big star at the center of our solar system? Uh, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper? Yeah. There's also the Little Dipper. What is that? Uh, this Little Dipper. That's like its son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got it wrong. Way to go, guys. Danny blew that. Uh, the correct answer, Shannon had it. Watch this. Shannon, what do we call that big star at the center of our solar system? The sun. It is the sun. Yeah. There's the right answer, sun. See, I basically yeah. told him afterwards he didn't realize yeah. it. Girl, stop girl with the girl it. guy thing. Girl Come on. It. All right, 400 bucks each. Here's a question I asked to Shannon and to Mike. According to the famous phrase, what should you do if you can't stand the heat? So who blew it? What do you think, Shannon or Mike? Each got 400 bucks, and you guys have been pretty much thinking the same way the whole show here. Oh, you guys are both locked in. Finally, you guys are thinking differently. Now, I yell it. You think Mike, and let me guess your logic on this one. Mike, just he, he's not a big saying guy. He makes up his own saying. He's kind of an individual. He says what he wants to say. He doesn't I know the old answers, sayings. I love your answers, Good you know? luck. Let's see if he blew it. According to the famous phrase, what should you do if you can't stand the heat? Get out the kitchen. <laughs> what is this saying, man? Take the heat, kitchen. Ask the kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry, I yelled. Mike got that right. right. The guys came through fine. Now, Sam, Shannon's the one who blew it. Let's check out what she said. Shannon, according to the famous phrase, what should you do if you can't stand the heat? Take a cold bath. Take a cold bath. It'll cool your body temperature down. Yep. And what's normal body temperature? 98 degrees. 
You like that band? No. It's all about in sync. Oh, Justin? <laughs> ba ba ba. A lot of people say I look like him. Yeah. So, um. <laughs> E, way to go, Sam Shannon got that wrong. Oh, You're well, up to 600 bucks. Can we please edit well, it out me doing the instinct dance? Okay. Here's the question I asked to Mike and Danny. This will be the last one of the round, guys. I asked both guys, Nashville is a major American metropolis. What state is it in? <laughs> oh, they're laying off the dunce. Okay, guys. So who blew it? Mike or Danny? We got a 400, 400 bucks for Ayel. It's 600 for Sam. And what do you think? <laughs> I just think you're in another world right now. What are you doing? Danny Come on. Danny did not know it. Okay, so you guys are both locked no in. You way. think Danny Ayala doesn't Danny think so, Sam? You don't think so know. either? He has never been east of the Mississippi. Let's check it out. He doesn't out. know Jack. Nashville is a major American metropolis. What state is it in? Tennessee. It is in Tennessee. Damn! I'm the, I'm the street smartest guy ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you both had Danny. He got that right, guys. He knew it. The wrong answer was Mike. Nashville is a major American metropolis. What state is it in? New York. New York. <laughs> that was the wrong answer. All right, guys, let's recap the scores. Ayala, you got 400 bucks. I know you're very upset right now. But Sam's got $600. He is in the lead. The horse play continues as our players pick their ponies next on Street Smart. <laughs> what state is the school Yukon in? Yukon? State? New York? UConn is actually short for University of Con... Canada? <laughs> Connecticut. Oh, yeah. Welcome back. It's a horse of a different color as we head for our next round. Pick your pony. This time, Sam and I uh, will each choose one of the three stallions for the entire round. I try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks, you guys. Yeah. And we're going to leave that dunce cap in this round. It can only be used once, and it's good for another $300. Now, nobody used the dunce in, the, in round two there, so remember it's there, guys. 300 bucks. Player who's trailing chooses first. That's I yell it. So who would you like to bet on? I think I'm going to go with Danny, because I can pretty much predict most of his answers will be. OK. Yeah. All right, I will see. And Sam, how about you? I'm going with Shannon, because she ain't too smart. Exactly. Oh, well, OK. All right. She's smart. All right, guys. Here's the first question I yell it for you to Danny. Who's commonly known as New York's finest? What do you think? Think Danny got it right or wrong, Ayala? Your trail by 200 bucks, your correct prediction will give you the lead. He got it wrong. He got it wrong? Got Let's it find wrong. out. 300 bucks if he did. Who's commonly known as New York's finest? Oh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Oh, he's rich, dude. He is rich. That was Donald Trump. Yeah, what I'd, would you do if you had all that money? What would you buy? I'd buy your show and I'd be you. Okay. Damn. <laughs> ask you questions. What would I be doing? Probably sweeping the back or something. <laughs> Sam. The correct answer at the NYPD. Very good. Woo, okay. NYPD! <laughs> She's originally from New York. All right, yeah. Sam, here's your first question to Shannon. What is a kumquat? <laughs> oh, you've been done. She only has to do one thing. I'm going to do one on the line. Uh, Sam, I'm going to read the question again. You have five seconds to answer it. What is a kumquat? A small orange fruit. That's a right answer. <laughs> Dr. Dunst. Now, Sam, what do you think? Do you think Shannon got it right or wrong? Mm, she got it wrong. She got it wrong? All right, let's see if we can get you 600 bucks on one question. What is a kumquat? It's a fruit. It's a fruit? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a vegetable. No, it's a fruit. It's a little, like, orange thing. Yeah, it is a fruit. Yeah. <laughs> I missed it. Yeah, good job. Way to go, Sam. Or, no, no, no. I'm sorry, Sam. She got that right. I'm sorry, buddy. She got it right. No she money for you. Right. All right, so here we go. Next question to right. you, Ayala. Huh? So Danny, I'm hey, ready. you're losing. Come on, don't be. But you got it right. Go okay. girls. Come on. Okay. All right. Well, here we're gonna ask Danny Girl a question power. for him. In slang, what does it mean if you tie the knot? I don't know why I'm suddenly having faith in the boy, but <laughs> I think maybe you got it right. Maybe, perhaps, perchance. But you're you're going with right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, don't apologize. Let's find out. Go ahead. In slang, what does it mean if you tie the knot? If you tie the knot, you get married. Oh. oh. <laughs> It takes you up to a thousand. You're in the lead again. All right, Sam, here's the next question to Shannon. How many sides does a rectangle have? Sam, do you think she got that right or wrong? We're flip-flopping the lead back and forth here. You think she got it? She better get this right. Too easy. She... Okay, let's find out. 300 bucks. How many sides does a rectangle have? 
four. That's four sides? Yeah. And give me something that's shaped rectangular. Your head. <laughs> Just kidding. Damn. <laughs> she got it right. Way to go, Sam. $1,200 to vault back into the lead. Good game. All right. So, Sam, $1,200. We're scoring a lot of money here. I yell, you got 1000 bucks here. So uh, here's the next question I asked to Danny. This is the last one for you in this round. So good luck, I yell. I asked Danny, finish this slogan. Wow, I could have had a... Hmm. So what do you think? Uh, you can take the lead again here with the correct prediction. I don't think he got it right, but I think he probably said something about a girl. So I'll say he got it wrong. You think he got it wrong? I think he said something regarding a girl or something. Okay, well, let's see if we can get you the lead. Let's find out. Finish this slogan. Wow, I could have had a... I could have had a million dollars. A million dollars? What's yeah. that a slogan for? Uh, who wants to be a millionaire? Who wants to be a millionaire? Oh, I'm right, huh? <laughs> She takes the third hundred, three hundred, thirteen hundred. Now, do you know the correct answer? Wow, I could have had a candy bar. No. Does anybody know? A V8. A V8. So that girl thing. I don't know where you were going with that. I, I like candy bars. Oh, okay. Oh, All right, good on. for you. Okay, <laughs> you have the lead. Sam, here's the last question of the round. You can pull ahead before the wager of death. According to the old saying, "Hell hath no fury like." Hmm. What? You're saying? She doesn't know anything about the earth, forget about hell. Oh, okay, all right, let's find out if you can take the lead. According to the old saying, hell hath no fury like... Fire. Like fire. Because yeah. hell, fire, ah. That's a wrong answer, way to go, Sam. $300 for you. All right, uh, Sam. Sam, do you know the correct answer? Hell hath no fury like... I have no idea. I, uh, like a woman score! That's right. And right now, you are trailing, Ayala. You have $1,300. Sam pulled into the lead with $1,500. Now, when we return, Sam and Ayala will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Shannon, Mike, and Danny. I asked them, what was Dolly the Sheep the first mammal to do? Stay tuned, because one of our players will be mutton chops in our final round. The wager. Don't go away. people on the street, you made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and you wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Now, Ayala, you have $1,300, and if you want some money today, what would you do with the money? I would pay the, to make the new national anthem, You Are My Tree. Oh, that would be the new national you anthem. Very nice. Tree. All right, Sam, how about you? What would you do with some money? I'm again? going to Vegas, baby. 1500 bucks right now. Good luck, guys. Remember, only the winner escapes with the loot, which means everything rides on this final question. And here's a question I asked to Shannon, Mike, and Danny. What was Dolly the sheep the first mammal to do? Ayala, you're only trying by 200 bucks here. You got 1,300. So whose clip would you like to see to try to win the game? Danny. You're going with Danny. All right, Sam, how about you? A little $200 lead working. You're going to go with Danny also. Whoa. So we're going to say bye to Shannon, and we're going to say bye to Mike, which means a lot of money on the board here for both of you guys. One clip left. It's Danny's. All the money rides on it. Let's take a look. What was Dolly the sheep? the first mammal to do. Ooh, to be like double, double, clone two for the price of one. There you go, yeah. that's right. How did right. you know that? That's a right answer. Who told you that? Did I you watch the news? Good poker face. Okay, all right, you have Danny. He got that right. Guess guys aren't that stupid. So what did you say he would do? You said he would get it wrong. I yelled, how much is that gonna cost you? Hopefully you- The phone. Oh, down to zero. National anthem song. Now, Sam, you went with Danny. We just saw the clip. He got it right. What did you say he would do, Sam? Ah, oh, you said wrong. Also, I hope you didn't wager it all, Sam. You go to Vegas with the. Oh no! We rolled snake eyes. It looked like I think we just cloned zeros. What was Dolly the sheep the first mammal to do? Clone. That's right. Yeah! What was Dolly the sheep the first mammal to do? Dolly the sheep. Jump over a fence? Jump over a fence? Jump over a fence? First sheep to jump over a fence. Yeah.